Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to Tiny Town. We're starting this week's episode with Ziggy Yarn. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different angle with Ziggy. We do have sheep. So Beatrice was able to purchase two sheep for Ziggy. We have Rusty and where's the other one? Smurf. Okay. Why are you over here at Beatrice's house? Okay, it's because I don't have a fence for them yet, but we will eventually. And we should, of course, introduce ourselves to all of the different Tiny Town members. Okay, the way that it's going to work with Ziggy is that I have a mod and I actually got it to work. The sheep are going to breed, but I have to have at least two of them. So that's why I had Beatrice get two for Ziggy. I kind of went a little bit too far with how much Opal bought for Beatrice because I didn't expect her to earn so much with Ambrosia. So for Ziggy, we're giving him a rough start. All he has is a cross stitch box, a yarn basket, um, and this nectar is actually from the prairie grass. So she did buy him a couple of prairie grass patches and this feeder so that he can feed the sheep with hay and it won't cost anything. So we need to shear the sheep for wool and then hopefully we can make something out of it. Now you can't make any cross stitching items without money because you have to actually buy the hoop as well as have the wool. So we'll have to start out with knitting. And I think the way knitting works is that knitting clothes is almost worthless, except for maybe if you sell them on Plopsy, it might be a little bit of cash. But the best way to make money with knitting is to knit animal items and other items like toys and toys we can actually sell on the selling table. Okay, we finished our first item. We have a cap and scarf in cool blues, and looks like we can sell it for 69 simoleons. I just have to sell it directly because I didn't have enough money to list it on Plopsy. So from now on, we're going to try listing it on Plopsy or selling it on the selling table if we can actually put it on the selling table. It looks like someone left me some free food on the grill and didn't finish it. I'm going to learn how to cook. Okay, I didn't start a fire. That's good. Oh, it's an orange cat. Pudley. That's perfect for Ziggy. We should definitely adopt Pudley. Oh, no. He's a little bit grumpy. Oh, he's territorial. Um, that might be why. I think he's also a prowler and skittish. Well, that may not be the best traits for a cat, but you just look perfect. He even has yellow eyes. Oh good, I sold my most expensive one, the rabbit sweater. So that's a good thing because I am completely out of money and couldn't make any more. Okay, we're going to try our hand at cross stitching. Now cross stitching is a little annoying because you can break your finger and if you do that, then you can't continue your work. So it's very difficult to make money off of because you have a limited amount that you can complete. And it seems like almost everything sells for exactly how much you spent to make it. The only benefit is that I do have wool. So that brings the price down a little bit. And then if I make a large hoop, it's the most expensive one. And I can put it on the selling table for a 300% markup. Okay, we made 688 simoleons off of that one cross stitch. Okay, Ziggy's going to be cheerful. That's fine. You can have cheerful. And yeah, I did give him a little bit of a makeover because he wasn't wearing enough yellow for me. Uh, some of the clothes I gave him were a little out there, but there wasn't a lot available that I thought fit his personality. So we're here at Thrifty and we're going to put together an outfit. Okay, now the goal of this is to get as much stuff that contains knitted items as possible. Because what I'm going to do is 
basically knit some items that are kind of close to the items that I find in the shop. And then Ziggy is going to go thrifting for accessories and matching pieces for his knittables. And then he's going to put together trendy outfits to sell. So that's my story. And basically as many knitted pieces as I can get into this outfit, the more I'm going to allow myself to sell it for. So for example, if he has something that contains no knitted pieces whatsoever, then I'm not allowed to sell that for any money at all. And we have to have something that looks like it could be knitted, which is probably like a sweater. So for this, I will knit myself a men's brown sweater, for example. And then I might look for something that looks like it could be knitted. Um, probably not going to find any bottoms, but let's just say that we bought some kind of pants to go with this. And that's what he bought at the thrift store. So at the thrift store, he bought the shirt and he bought the pants, but he knitted the sweater. And then maybe if I could get a hat that looks like it's knitted, like this one kind of looks knitted, but beanies is mainly what I'm going for. I don't see any beanies right now. And maybe if we had some scarf accessories or gloves or socks, any socks would be good. I'm not seeing any socks though. And the leggings really aren't knitted. And besides they don't show under this for the outfit. So there's no scarves. And the only thing I can have is maybe gloves, but again, they have to kind of look like they could be knitted. Like I might accept something like this because maybe what he did is he knitted part of it, like the cuffs on the gloves, and then he bought some gloves to attach to it, um, something like that. But anyway, that's the whole idea is that he's actually thrifting pieces and then knitting stuff to go with it, putting together an outfit and selling it on Trendy. So it's not going to be an unlimited sale. It'll be something like for every one knitted item that he has in his outfit, he gets to sell it for that much more. So for example, this one is a total cost of 120 simoleons. And if he has at least one knitted item with this, he's allowed to sell it for 240 simoleons. So we're going to allow doubling for each knitted item. And we're not going to buy an item and then sell it for exactly the same price that we bought it for. Oh. These actually look like they might have some knitting to them. I mean, not completely knitted, but they look a little bit like they're knitted. Oh, that would not go. Okay, so we need a color for this one. Okay, this outfit actually looks like it's 100% knitted. It's too bad that there's no socks. I mean, I never see socks in here for some reason. Oh, and shoes. Okay, so there are some boots from the laundry pack and they have like a knitted top to them. And I would count those as knitted, but I don't see them in here. And I don't think there are any other ones like that. So we're not going to be able to count the shoes. The shoes are going to have to be bought. Are there ever any socks in here? I never see socks. Oh, and we can make friendship bracelets too. I forgot about those. Maybe I can make one that looks like it's a friendship bracelet. Although in this particular outfit, it's not going to show. So I won't do that for this outfit. But for future outfits, if the bracelet shows, I'm going to count the bracelet if I make a friendship bracelet. Although the, I think that's handiness. So maybe I shouldn't count it. And it looks like none of these necklaces show on top of the sweater. Okay, so I think that's all we can do then, unless we want to add some glasses. That will add to the price. Okay, so this is 200 simoleons. And I have the pants, the gloves, the sweater, and the hat. So that is four items. 
And we're going to say that means I can sell it for a thousand simoleons. And that's going to be how Ziggy makes his money because I don't see any other way of him making his money. But every time it doesn't sell, maybe I have to take away 10% and discount it 10% to mimic okay, now I'm selling it cheaper, even though the game doesn't really take the selling price into consideration when you're actually selling it on Trendy. Why can I? Oh, I have to name it. And we'll call this Chestnuts because of the checkerboard on the hat, I guess. I have to name them something I can remember because otherwise I am never going to remember this. Okay, now I actually can't sell this yet because I need to make the pieces so we need to make a hat, which will be just a beanie because we can knit beanies. Uh, we can only knit socks. So I can't knit sweaters yet. Here's to hoping that I can knit sweaters by the time um, I go to sell that. And I'm not sure what I can do with the pants. Maybe I can knit a sweater dress or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just knit the socks because I never see socks anyway. And we'll count the socks as the pants. Now I did make a sad little enclosure for the sheep. Unfortunately, I can't afford very much right now. And they're just running all over the place. I wouldn't mind it if they kind of stayed in this area, but they don't. They were like all the way down here somewhere sleeping and they were starving and their food is all the way back up here so i don't know maybe i should just lock them in the clubhouse area yeah see this knitted item only sells for 20 simoleons but that's okay it's going to be part of our outfit so we're not actually going to sell the beanie oh we can knit sweaters now Okay, I'm going to say since I have the pants included, we are going to knit a sweater dress, even though um, technically we do not have a sweater dress. So we are going to choose one of the sweater dresses, but it has to be black and white or gray. Okay, so we have a black and gray women's sweater dress. We will knit that one and say that counts for both the top and the bottom of the piece. And it's only 50 simoleons. And then there are no gloves that we can knit. So we're just going to knit socks and say that that's the part that we contributed towards the gloves. And then once we've done that, we have a beanie, a sweater dress, and some socks and then we can sell this chestnuts for a thousand simoleons and the items that we made to be part of this outfit are just going to be given away as gifts or we'll do something else with them that has to do with the aspiration like donating them to charity and things like that but we're not allowed to sell those because they're being sold as part of the outfit well look it's another orange cat mojo that is not the same orange cat we saw before. Okay, so we made our socks. Now we can list this item for a thousand simoleons. We do need a rocking chair though for our aspiration. And the cheapest one is 120 simoleons. Well, we're going to have to work up to that. Oh, he pricked his finger. Great. Okay, there is a garden blight in here. And I think what I'm going to do is consolidate these planters for all of the ones that survive. And since we're not really doing anything with the plants right now, then we will actually not replace them and kind of move the planters over. I don't know. Maybe we'll just have four and make room for other things. No, my death flowers. Oh, that's... a so disappointing oh well we won't need them hopefully it also got the orchids but at least it didn't get the dragon fruit oh it did get the dragon fruit it's spreading okay doing this by uprooting all the plants that are blighted is almost impossible because every time i uproot one another one gets it no the crystal trees 
Oh, they keep resetting anyway. But the crystal trees. <laughs> okay. Okay, I uprooted all of them that I could find. I don't see the blight on any of the remaining plants, but it's not ending the event. I'm just going to right click that, that I did uproot them all. I didn't see any that were wild that were blighted. Maybe that's what's going on here, but I did what I did, so I'm not doing it anymore. Okay, now we need to figure out what else we can put in here. I only have a couple of planters left, and really, this thing is all on its own. So, if I lose one more plant, I could get rid of that planter as well. Okay, we were able to sell a cross-stitch pattern, and we now have 416 simoleons. I think we might buy another sheep. I wonder if you can get either black or white wool from the Dalmatian mini sheep. That would make sense. I think I had one before and I got white wool, but I'm not sure if you can ever get black wool. Oh, my listing on Trendy expired and my ones for Plopsy have not expired yet. They run really long. I guess I'll list it again. Maybe I'll... Tr oh, hype is tepid. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to increase the hype. Okay, it counts as basics. Oh, the hype has decreased. Well, it can't get any worse than Tepid. Okay, that's not really working. I guess he doesn't have enough followers to really promote it. And his entrepreneurial skill is not the greatest. It's, yeah, level one and only 11%. So we'll just try and sell it again. This time we can only sell it for 900 simoleons. Well, we did find a bathtub in the dumpster. I'm not sure if this will really fit his style, but we will try to fix it up and make it nice. I'm going to allow him to dumpster dive in order to find furniture for his house because he's going to have a really hard time getting enough money for a house, but we are not going to sell any of the furniture. Well, it looks like I might have to build a little shed or something for the sheep so that I can keep them in there when I'm not playing Ziggy. Because unfortunately, they go to sleep and they don't take care of themselves and eat. And they get unhappy and say, oh, I'm going to leave. Well, your food is right there. You just have to wake up and eat it. Really? The Dalmatian sheep ate all of the food. Okay, it looks like Rusty's eating. Maybe I should put this other feeder over there. Oh, I did get a black wool from the Dalmatian sheep. Okay, so it is confirmed. Sometimes you will get black wool from the Dalmatian sheep, and sometimes you will get white wool. But the quality is poor. Oh no, my plopsy durations are expiring now. Oh, that's not good. Well, if it expires on Plopsy, maybe I should just sell it. Because to be honest, even though it sells for a lot more on Plopsy, I am struggling right now. We can do a large hoop. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This will get me the money that I need to list everything else on Plopsy. Well, I am certainly going to miss Beatrice's jewelry that kept it always sunny and never raining. Going to have to deal with the rain with Ziggy. And possibly getting struck by lightning. Great, my listing expired again. That seems like it's too quick. Or maybe it's just once a day. I guess I'm not going to be able to sell this one since it's basics and the hype is tepid. Trying again for 800. Okay, 792 simoleons. That took like four yard sales. Okay, I got a brown mini sheep. I don't know when, but it was in the household inventory for some reason. Why won't the sheep eat? I mean, sometimes they take forever to eat and they're starving, and I don't know why. Well, finally, the Dalmatian sheep is eating. Okay, finally, I sold something on Plopsy. Okay, now we only have to complete 10 excellent knittables, successfully gift three knittables, and successfully show off your knitted sweater. So that means we need to have one. 
I think for that, I will need to wear a men's sweater. Although I think I could probably wear the women's sweater, but we'll try gifting these items first. Hi, Michael. Would you like some socks? Okay, he actually liked the knitted socks. That's amazing. Let's see if Beatrice would like a sweater dress. I don't know. It might be cottagecore. What do you say, Beatrice? Do you like the black and gray sweater dress? Um, no. She did not appreciate the gifted knittables. Well, one thing is for sure, I will never go hungry as long as I put the food away because it seems like they like to use this grill way too much. Okay, I think we got another brown mini sheep. Where is it? Oh, there you are. The only bad thing about the mod is it puts the sheep wherever. It does not put the sheep where the sheep enclosure is. All right, trying again for 700. Okay, finally we have another buyer for the Plopsy item. And we can list this one on Plopsy. Oh, it's a legendary one. I don't know why, but every single time I have to ship something on Plopsy, I must sell the mailboxes and replace them. For some reason, that bug is just so annoying. I didn't even know at first that you could get it to work by selling the mailboxes. But if basically if you click ship on Plopsy and nothing pops up in your queue, then just go and build buy and replace all of your mailboxes. I don't know why that works. It's just like they get glitched sometimes and it just needs to be reset. But selling an item on Plopsy will glitch it again. We do have a little bit of money. Okay, I made a new outfit for him and we're going to show it off to Michael and see if he likes it. I thought it was better to go with the blue pants than more yellow in the pants. Okay, we successfully showed it off. Now we have to change out of it because it's too hot for this clothing. And maybe we should try giving Michael a bear beanie because for some reason he liked our other gift. I don't know if certain Sims are prone to liking gifted knittables and certain Sims aren't. Michael's not even really that friendly with us, but for some reason he liked the last one. And he likes this one. Okay, so maybe he's just more likely to like it. I don't know. Okay, we're going to call this Rocker Knits. We were only able to get two knitted items though, so... Total cost is 305 simoleons. And we're going to be able to sell it for 915 simoleons, hopefully. Okay, we actually got the trend rocker. And it says hype neutral. Why does it say neutral? If I go to hype on trendy, it said that rocker trend is high right now. So high means that the hype is neutral. Well, <laughs> we will try to promote it, but you know how that goes. Uh, maybe I should have got some glasses. I forgot about the glasses. Oh, outfit hype is increased. We gained 21 followers. Okay, so remember that having more followers makes it easier to sell fashion looks on trendy. So that's good. And it's still neutral. I really don't get this trendy thing. It's like you increase the hype, but you have to increase it multiple times to get it to go up a level. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm just going to list it. Oh, right. I can't list it yet. It listed it anyway. Okay. Well, I need to knit two things first. Whoops. Oh, and I sold another thing on Plopsy. Well, this isn't going so bad now. I mean, it's still not that great, but... I need to replace the mailboxes again. I'm not going to take a chance because I'm sitting too close to them. If I stop knitting, then it basically doesn't allow me to continue. Okay, now I have two of them that I need to sell. Come on, hurry up and finish your knittable. Okay, I have a legendary blue bear beanie. 
Let's see if we can invite Michael over and if my theory holds that certain Sims are more appreciative of the Nittables than others. There you are, Michael. Do you like this beanie? He does. Okay, that's it. I think that certain Sims just like them more than others. He's not even really that good of a friend. Well, it's the end of the day and the end of the week. I'm just trying to shear all of my sheep and I have quite a bit of wool to work on some new stuff. We only have about 2,000 simoleons, which isn't that much, but I might build a basic structure. And just remember that I have a Discord. If anyone would like to join, that link will be in the comments, as well as a playlist and a link for voting for the next series in the next season. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.